Hello from Fort Park. It's Oktoberfest. It's September 2023, and I don't know how much I'm going to film, but um, there's a few updates. I want to do a general vlog before like Fright Night kicks in, um, which hopefully we come back for. There's updates I'd like to show. There's rides. There's Oktoberfest, which I'll show like what there is to show, and um, yeah, show a bit of Fright Nights preparation as well and also construction for a new roller coaster at this theme park which you probably know about but uh, we'll speak more about when we get around there but um, yeah so far so good I don't know what time it is it's now one o'clock we've done all the major coasters apart from the swarm now and uh, yeah operations amazing the rides themselves are running really well like Saw and Colossus on the front row Colossus obviously can't speak for mid train or the back or whatever but they were smooth Nemesis Inferno prayed out stealth amazing launch did detonate as well I still think that is better than any of the drop tiles we did in Sweden to be perfectly honest with you um, but yeah the rain it's not forecast good weather today um, and that's about to start showing there's dark clouds over there so yeah looks like that's about to kick in which is a shame, but um, yeah, Fort Park, Oktoberfest, Friday night's preparation, Exodus construction. Yeah, I'll see you around. Um, one of the first updates I can say now is um, at the entrance, no Fort Park soundtrack exists anymore. No Oktoberfest soundtrack, no Island soundtrack, just general like chart music. I like it. So that was interesting until you pass through the turnstiles and then the Oktoberfest music hits and then the WWT radio hits Yay. as you step outside the dome which is really good um, so yeah that's an interesting one uh, but yeah probably take a bit of getting used to to be honest what was I discussing ride operations as well I'd like to say they're really good today um, something I've noticed for the first time I don't know how long it's been like this Maybe it's been like this for a while, I've only just noticed it. Um, but the staff on rides are all wearing headsets with microphones and they're communicating through them. Um, instead of like shouting over, like having to use one to talk to actually on the head. So I assume that makes like discussing like things easier for them. Uh, obviously like work, like communication and just general chatting throughout the day. Um, and then that's a lot better for them, especially like, instead of like, say, having to shout over soundtracks and audio and stuff like that. Um, that's really good. It stops like, it doesn't, it stops them from having to take away the audio experience for the guests, but it also enables them to carry on. Why did I, st why did I walk past that speaker? I don't know. Um, but yeah, anyways, whilst they're here as well, Amity's coming back. Um, we thought last year that it would be his last year with a graduation but um, they are bringing back Amity and Lycanthorpe in some form. You know me, I completely forgot like the name of the scare zone. It's got some witch storyline. Yeah, Creature Campus, that's it. Um, and yeah, Amity and Lycanthorpe now seems to be teaming up instead of being em 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 enemies. Um, and yeah, basically, it's going to take place here, as it always did. I'm so happy, like, it was sad last year, I think, like, when we thought that it was the end of that amazing scare zone. Best thing of Friday night for the consecutive years. And yeah, like, massive big up to Fort Park. Bringing back that scare zone in some format. Um, when the storyline suggested that, like, that would be the end with the graduation, obviously, leaving school, so... Yeah, that's cool. But there we go, we've started with a ramble, as usual. But uh, while it's raining, I think we're going to check whenever the next time is for the Angry Birds show for a bit of shelter. And I need to get my coat on. Here's my saw merch before I cover it with a coat. Well, here we go, we're in the shop for shelter and to have a look at the merchandise, of course. And we're greeted with this little model of Photo Park's new roller coaster coming next year, Project Exodus. You can scan that for more information. Um, yeah, like the hype's starting to take place now. 
this is new merch. Like, say, is that like the logo they wanted to change to? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I, I do rate them like selling merchandise with it though. Like, it's a cool style. The shop is very busy because everyone's doing what we're doing and hiding from the rain. Um, but yeah, I'll show you some of the merchandise. But yeah, I like that entrance to the shop over there with that model of Exodus. The hype is starting to kick in though, which is really cool. And that style of merch is nice. There's a hoodie, there's mugs, there's t-shirts, all sorts, and notebooks as well. Oktoberfest merchandise. Bears, socks, keyring, I think. No, they're not keyrings, that's really embarrassing. Um, <laughs> it's something. Uh, fridge magnets. Mugs, which have taken inspiration from Valhalla with the barrel there. Beautiful. Um, yeah, what's behind this barrel? A teacup. T shirts and hoodies as well, and the hats. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, they don't have them bright blue like t-shirts it's just the plain like t-shirts and hoodies with no, the little did, October I did, I did see one of logo them. there I did see the like blue ones um, somewhere. I don't know. but yeah it was like a t-shirt with this sort of design no, I um, seen one of them. so that's cool new ghost train merch as well in the format of the park vibes stuff from a couple of years ago I love how they've kept some of the park vibes stuff shame the event only lasted one year but um, yeah it was good at the time and they've kept some of its like style of merch which is nice we're obviously not going to be able to avoid it all day but while it's just started we'll take as much shelter as we can we'll go on the walking dead the ride indoor experience after looking what i think is the island mega store you know me i always forget the name of that shop um <laughs> but yeah walking dead the ride this is probably the longest I've ever queued for this, but it's still not big, so, like, yeah, fine by me, let's do it, then we'll do the other stuff and get drenched as well. Walking Dead was fun and quite successful considering we went in there to avoid the rain. Um, we spent a bit longer inside the building than expected. We sat down on the train and was asked to, like, get back up again pretty much, like, after, like, well, it seemed like they were about to dispatch it, like, thumbs up, um, you know, were being given and stuff like that, but yeah, some of it obviously went wrong, um, so we got asked to leave, like, the station bit, um, but everyone stayed in, like, the bit before the station, if you've been on it, you know what I mean, um, yeah, where you walk up to the station pretty much, um, and then, yeah, uh, all the house lights came on, the audio went off, so, um, yeah, that was cool to see, to be honest, like, that little bit of the building with the house lights on, um, it's usually quite dark with flashing lights, loud noises and all sorts in there, uh, but yeah, it was just the sound of people speaking, and, um, yeah, like I said, the house lights were on for, um, I don't even, I don't remember how long it was, but it wasn't that long, they sent each train round once, and then, um, yeah, it was pretty much all sorted, um, was well communicated, everyone got the option to leave if they wanted to, which we considered to get a lights on through like what used to be the like scare maze bit, not that it has actors anymore, but we decided to stay because of the rain and shelter and um, we obviously wanted our ride. Um, so yeah, fun ride, avoided the shelter for a bit longer, nothing changed, I say that, it wasn't actually raining when we stepped outside the building. Uh, but then by the time we got our bags back from the baggage hold, it then started raining again, so... Um, yeah, it's what it is. Looks like it is in for the day. It was forecast to be raining all day today, so... It's not really come unexpected, but it's just a shame. But let's have a look at some merch while we're here in the dome. Tell you what though, the dome's looking a bit bare at the minute. Um, yeah, I don't know if they're about to like get ready and... to theme this up for Fright Nights and stuff. That's probably the case, got the Oktoberfest soundtrack on. But yeah, it's not as decorated for Oktoberfest as it has been before, I'm pretty sure. Like, yeah, all this is just like bare and black. But like I said, this will probably end up being themed up for Fright Night at some point. Vibes is very busy at the minute, making money in there. Costa's got a queue, like, yeah, everything indoors is quite busy at the minute, which is understandable. 
Um, but yeah, love it inside the dome. Let's have a look at some merch in the island shop. A few bits in here that we, well, that wasn't in, either wasn't in the mega store or we didn't get around to showing on camera, so let's have a look. Lovely set of magnets here. Some bits from the swarm I've not seen before. This knitted jumper. Um, yeah, I think I've seen that before. I wouldn't trust that though. Um, that material, if you know, you know. Um, yeah, the design's nice though. I do like that. I'm pretty sure hoodies like this used to be 45 here. That has now gone up to 50, but they are like really good quality. Um, especially when they're embroidered and not like this material but the hoodies themselves are actually really good quality so um, that's obviously why they're so expensive and yeah like that's a good thing it's good that like theme parks are selling high quality clothes mugs and coffee cups and bottles as well this one expands um, yeah I, I can't do it with one hand Colossus stuff here, ten inversions there's this hoodie with the massive logo on it um, but yeah looks really nice and that's embroidered as well so won't get damaged let's get drenched again um, it's been worse than this throughout today to be honest so yeah lovely view it's much better with blue sky in it but um, yeah still nice regardless always bringing new merch out at fourth and it's yeah some nice stuff in there the only big roller coaster we haven't done today is the swarm so i think we're gonna head over there now why not pretty sure flying fish is down um i think danielle mentioned that that was like well appearing down on the website and yeah i heard someone else say that yet yeah, uh, earlier today that um it wouldn't be open imagine going on this slide in this weather oh my god imagine if you did a thrill there at the bottom and you <laughs> landed there that you would be drenched interesting update that i didn't know about that's a really good place for that photo opportunity by the way, a lot quieter than it being on a, a footpath. But um, yeah, there used to be like a mini building here, pretty sure it used to be an old scare maze. And they just kept the building up. Um, no one's sitting here today obviously. Um, but yeah, that's now been taken down and these stones have been put down and you can walk around it, have a photo with this, and obviously sit down and eat or drink or just chill out on these tables. That's a good change. Yeah, just more space to chill out, like on the park basically. Um, which yeah, this was all fenced off previously and had an, uh, well, I thought I would say an abandoned building, but just a building that wasn't really in use here, so yeah, that's cool. Yeah, the world is trying to rain us off here at Fort Park. We mustn't let it. We was about to go on the swarm, but then it started doing this and we're like, oh, we'll leave it till later. It's got an, it, it's got an uncovered station. Like, the seats will be wet through, the ride, like, will be uncomfortable. We're probably going to have a double tea party, because that's undercover. Um, but yeah, flying fish there, might as well while I'm here. Um, it's closed, like, the train isn't in the station. I'm pretty sure that's how they leave, like, powered coasters when they're not open. I've just put my hand in that, like, thing dripping. Um, but, uh, but yeah. <laughs> um, Flying fish is closed, pretty sure that's how they store the trains. Don't think they actually leave them in the station uh, with power coasters when they're not operating. Don't know what's wrong with it, but I believe it has been stated on the website that it's closed, so like I say, you can't fault it for that really. This is ridiculous. Um, we sort of knew it, would, it was going to happen. It was lovely at Chessington yesterday, the weather was. Um, and yeah, like this is the country we live in now. Um, but yeah, there we go. I'll try and get some Exodus and Fright Nights content, which was the main uh, um, intention of this video, um, at some point, but we'll just see what happens with this for now. Hey, we've just done Angry Birds 4D. The busiest I've ever seen it, and now we walk out. This song's playing. If you know, you know, and it's not raining. Amazing! So, yeah, Hungry Bears 4D. Struggled to find a seat in there, to be perfectly honest with you, but a lot of fun. Like, yeah, I recommend you give it a go, honestly, uh, when you come to Fort Park. It's worth doing at least once. They run on the hour, 
pretty much every hour from like 11 until like the hour before close I'm pretty sure so yeah plenty of opportunities and yeah when it's raining it's good shelter and good fun um, but yeah I think while it's not raining we're gonna do the swarm it's like I say we were gonna do it earlier it's the only big roller coaster we've not done yet today um, but yeah there we go big up the WWTP radio I think still closed because of the weather and it looks like it hasn't quite reopened yet but I don't know I assume it will soon but fingers crossed it stays dry honestly um, but, but yeah could have done the dodgems as well Swarm is walk on which is cool I guess like yeah the rain took everyone away from the coasters the park hasn't really quietened down though so I assume now they will get busier again there's a lot of people heading down yeah let's get as many rides as we can done before they get rambling oh why are there so many empty seats on the side we're about to go on anyways oh it's the back row air gate empty there let's go I think we're straight on the best seat on the train in my opinion back row left side let's do it look at that camera's got to go away let's do it here we go well that was absolutely fantastic we're right near a speaker as well, love to hear it. Um, yeah, walk straight on to my favourite. No on the swarm. Don't get that often. Literally the only gate on uh, free. Um, yeah, fair enough, a lot of people playing back. Now it's uh, yeah, now it's uh, back open and dry, but um, yeah, an important part of this ride at the moment, at this moment in time, is when you pull into this brake road and you take the turn into the final brake road like you can see some like there's some like weird like white and gold like pieces of steel not sure what they are and I'm of course only joking Exodus supports are on the ground on the island at the back of Swan where everyone wanted an RMC well unfortunately you're not getting your RMC but if you look there at the minute there's uh, ports for Exodus gold and white ones there I just lay there on the floor before being erected pretty much on site at the other end of the park but so uh, yeah it was very cool to see those for the first time um, and yeah hopefully more and more starts to arrive on site in the coming months as we head into Friday nights and stuff and yeah over winter and at the start of next well hopefully by the start of next season it's fully complete but yeah hopefully over winter it starts to get erected and yeah we get news on it's open it's crazy like it's gone so quick it doesn't feel that long ago when this thing was announced um, on that little proposal website but yeah like the UK's tallest and fastest roller coaster is coming to Fort Park next year and I think right now unless we do a ride in between I should take you over there and have a look at the construction site and yeah, see what's cracking off over there. Alright then, we've made our way over to the construction site. Um, yeah, the area around it's busy, it's hard to be quick. But let's see what we can see around there. It's really cool what they're doing. These fences are new. Um, well, they're probably not new, but like they've changed since last time I was there a couple months ago. These used to be like the standard white ones that were advertising all the events that happened throughout the year but um, yeah Project Exodus now confirmed to be the tallest and fastest roller coaster in the UK coming in 2024 this view is going to change a lot over the next couple of months let alone 12 months um, but yeah so videos like these will be really cool to look back on but um, yeah love what they've done with this um, yeah, looks really cool. They've got the colour scheme out. And yeah, take a look at this. Um, oh yeah, take a glimpse. So yeah, basically, they're encouraging you to have a look through and watch how things progress pretty much, which is incredible. Shame the raindrops are ruining this one for now, but yeah. Um, they're obviously still getting like the ground ready, I assume, at the minute, like ready for supports to go in and stuff like that I think there are a few footers over there we saw from Colossus earlier um, but yeah looks like a long way off like actual steel going in um, 
But yeah, like I say, once it does go in, we're going to be able to stand there and watch it. So, happy days. Got to give it credit. Like, being transparent with it all. Actually encouraging you to follow the construction, watch it happen as it's happening. Um, instead of trying to cover it up pretty much, which, yeah, like most parts seem to do that, to be honest. Just when the building stuff, which, like, is fair enough, I understand, but yeah. Like I say, there's no point trying to hide it, like, it's cool to watch, like, rides being built, um, and like I say, views changing, and just, like, yeah, construction progressing uh, on rides, so, um, yeah, like, the fact that since the beginning of this whole, like, thing, like, since it's, like, started coming up as a proposal, um, they've been transparent about it, they've been making little jokes, um, if you remember on the little curly fry station in Old Town, um, yeah, like the whole don't stare at you kind of jokes. Um, when actually, that gap's in the fence for a reason, like they probably put it down on purpose because they knew. Um, but yeah, like I say, you just gotta give them credit for that. Um, love the fact that they're allowing us, they're not trying to stop us from looking through gaps in fences and stuff like that they're obviously allowing Jack to do his construction updates as well just all of this is much appreciated by us enthusiasts I'm sure um, everyone will agree and yeah videos like this like pictures that you can take from here at numerous points in the construction process like will be so cool to look back on in years and years like into the future when like Exodus is like has been operating for like a good couple of years and it's like yeah just a standard part of your day at Fort Park whereas right now as we speak obviously nothing's been built yet um, and it's just something to look forward to so yeah stuff like this would be really cool to look back on and yeah as of right now it's cool to stand there and just look at it all really so let's have a walk around these fences don't disrespect colossus like that here we go there's not many places out there that'll put a fence up like that basically telling you get a photo of it before the view changes forever um and yeah through the gap here like this is the gap where the curly fries place used to be there um making puns making jokes um but yeah there's some Sainsbury stuff down there I don't, I don't know, that just can't be off guard. There's someone's bike. Um, yeah. No coaster truck at the moment. Telling you to get a picture of it before the view changes. There'll be a massive roller coaster here this time next year. And these fences won't be here, pretty much. I'll tell you what, I like the look of this. Looks like they're adding to the Crows of Marking Meadow this year. Looks better than ever. Um, yeah, all these piles of hay just thinning out the path really like it'll obviously be like worse to walk through in terms of like being stuck behind people and stuff but like it'll yeah it'll be more in it'll, yeah it'll be more intense like if the path's thinner that you walk through um yeah obviously there'll probably be a crow stood there like behind there and stuff um, yeah, looks really cool actually. Like that in this in the dark, uh, come fright night. I assume these like tent things aren't gonna stay in place. Um, but I will show, well, I might put a clip on screen now, I'll get one when I want next walk past. But um, yeah, from Colossus uh, or near Colossus, um, saw a lot of stuff like this uh, as well. Um, yeah, just improving the layout to it instead of it just being this straight path which it has been in previous years which yeah crows are marking meadow it was better in 2021 than it was in 22 but it's still one of my favorite things like frat nights have done and yeah looks like the building on it even further this year so i can't wait to see that this is what you get for comparing saw to the smiler colossus is literally walk on um Oh, the front row's closed. That's why it looks quiet. Um, yeah, I think we're just about heading into our last hour. Um, well, it's 10 to 5, so yeah, wow. 
It's really quiet. So we walked onto the fourth row of Colossus, which is obviously at the back of a car, and I genuinely didn't find that rough, like, at all. Um, so yeah, as I said earlier, rides are really well. Yeah, just no head bashing at all. Like, might get the odd rattle at the bottom of the drop, but literally no more extreme than what you'll get on an iPod when that has a bit of a rattle. So, yeah, I did not find that bad at all. And yeah, I like the layout on Colossus. But yeah, more Fright Night's preparation. We've got this tent here, which is going to be home to the new scare maze for this year called Stitches, I'm pretty sure. Fright Night's is coming. And yeah, this thing was built, well, towards the end of August, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's been up a while now, and they're obviously building stuff inside. On this site last year was Terminal, which was the audio experience. It wasn't really well received, so obviously they've acted on that feedback, replaced it with a scare maze. I, we've got old fences here, inside, Creetwood Sawmill. The sawmill is a part of Fright Nights, it seems, unless that is a very a very uh, old sign. And yeah, the cabin woods as well. Yeah, this has been freshly painted. I assume that's going to be like the entrance to the maze. And yeah, to be honest, looking forward to giving this a go. Well, I'll have to be quick because I think I'll be on the next cycle. But just had a flat ride session ending it on Vortex. We started it with the best one here, Samurai, before um, filming around Stitches. We then went on Rush and Quantum. The, the length of those cycles were ridiculous, to be honest with you. But I'll speak more about it after Vortex. Probably my second favourite flat on park. I wonder if the fact that this area is cordoned off because of these uh, f construction fences is having anything to do with how quiet the area is. 10 minutes? I don't think it is. Um, but yeah, we're doing a ride we don't normally do. Um, very often, here at Fort Park, you get to see the uh, tent. Zodiac, the Enterprise here. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, um, the Russian quantum cycles were very sh short. Like, very, very short. Um, the one at Grona Lund's better um, in terms of quantum got the name but um, yeah vortex we just had two goes in it can't fault it um, yeah perfect cycle length um, because we basically walked on to the first time we went on it um, and I'm surprised they sent it to be honest I was half expecting them to say like oh we need to wait for a certain amount of people because um, of the wait and stuff but turns out that isn't a problem on vortex so that's cool um, and then yeah, um, basically got offered to stay on if you wanted to and we was like, you know what, why not? Because uh, it's Vortex and it's a good ride with a good cycle length. So yeah, let's do it. Let's do uh, Zodiac now. Then that'll end our flat ride session and probably leave us with just under half an hour to do a few coaster rides. Fingers crossed. We'll commence the Oktoberfest. Excuse the pronunciation, but yeah. This is the main, like, event area for uh, Oktoberfest. Got these little um, stuff for eating. I don't like that random cutting volume when I'm raising my voice, but yeah. There's been some shows on. We've, we watched one earlier when, when it were like chucking it down, so I didn't want to get the camera out for it, but yeah, cool stuff. Um, Oktoberfest isn't taking over the park, which some say, um, yeah, just stalls, bratwurst stalls, stuff like that, yeah, shows in the dockyard area, which is, yeah, cool, quick mention to Death Doors, um, yeah, it's coming back, happy days, one of the best things at Fright Nights last year, absolutely loved it in there, looks like touch wood it's not going to be an upcharge um which was rumored a little bit towards the end of last year's event um but yeah glad it's returned for another year 
I'm looking forward to having a walk through there, but the app says Nemesis Inferno, it is walk on. Um, so, yeah, we'll give it a go. It looks walk on from here as well. Let's do it. We have about 15 minutes left, so who knows if we'll get anything else done. Or oh, we'll just we'll have, to have a few goes on this. Um, but yeah, let's do it. Straight after I uh, ended that clip, we got a signal from one of the staff members um, to head up the fast track queue because it's obviously that quiet, saves a bit of walking, saves a bit of time as well. Happy days, big up. Um, yeah, Let, let's see how quiet it is in here. Um, I bet we walk straight onto this train that's just come into the station. Oh, there, has, there is actually people. Wow, surprising. But, um, but yeah, I'll still consider it a walk on. Time to end on. What will you usually end on, to be honest? Um, yeah, we tend to end on stealth the majority of the time we come here. Listen to the WWTP radio. I always outro around there and praise how much Amity is one of the best areas in the UK. And I'll say that again later, after this final ride on stealth. But until then, yeah, I'll see you in a minute. There we go then, I'll say it again. Amity is the best, one of the best areas in the UK and Stealth is one of the best roller coasters in the UK. Um, yeah, it, the queue's just closed, there's only a few more trains left to send anyway. Um, and yeah, that brings us to the end of this day at Fort Park. Um, hopefully this has been a much shorter vlog, I can't tell. I think the clips I have filmed have been long, but like, I feel like I've not filmed loads. Um, which is good to be honest, better than an hour vlog. Um, yeah. Um, show me the Night Night Fest, Octoberfest. And a very um, excited Carson Mendoza. Yeah, that was, he was good right shot. There. He was like right that. then witnessing a great event and going completely nuts. Yeah, overall we've had a great day. That hour where it chucked it down. I was fearing the worst. I thought it was going to stop, but now lives it in Mexico stopped. Mexico with a Venezuelan dancer. Um, a terrific yeah, loss to the world of radio, but now apparently rides rides people come from miles then. around to um, see his tango. Yeah, a bad day here is quite rare Carmen. as well. All the way down there um, Mexico. And yeah, this that certainly has not happened today. Bits of blue sky now, like we didn't send the park over here. Um, yeah. Um, if it does like book it down my rain here at Fort Park, do stay, seek shelter like we do in, in case of it stopping, because a lot of people do tend to go home when it chucks it down my rain, um, my batch is really low, um, so yeah, it's not the first time we've been and it's like bucketed it down my rain and we've stayed and then it's quieting down a lot after that, and yeah, it's worth it afterwards, trust me, um, yeah. Enjoyed all the rides we've done today. The operations have been great, the staff have been great. The atmosphere has been really nice. And uh, yeah, let's get another one of them shots of me and stealth. Um, yeah, I don't know, don't know what else to say. Good times. Can't wait to be back for Friday nights. And I can't wait for, over there, Creature Campus. I would feel like a thought remains at Fort Park Friday nights for another year. Hopefully more. And yeah, I can't wait to see how that pans out. But yeah, until I have lunch for any longer, because I can't stay here all night, thank you very much for watching. Check out the screen to see more. And I'll see you back here at Fort Park, enjoying Fright Nights. I'll see you then.